Hey guys, lots of requests coming in for the um, Oculus Rift driving the character's or head orientation here. How to hook that up and uh, into uh, uh, mechanism characters. So I'm just going to show you how to do that real quick. Uh, at least what I've done here. There's a lot of complicated things that you're going to run into on your own implementations of this. So bear in mind, this is just one way to do it. This is how I've done it, and uh, it's working for me, but might not necessarily work for all your circumstances. So. Anyway, uh, it's really simple. It's just a matter of hierarchy and one playmaker action. So I'm going to make a head joint object here. Put it under my character. This is an Uma character, but any mechanism character will work. I'm going to put it right under there. And then I'm going to take uh, my Rift camera jig. Turn these gizmos down. I'm going to take my Rift camera jig and put it under this head joint and then zero all this stuff out because my character's at a weird scale. Okay. All right, so we go to the Rift camera and you know, this might be something that you're, you're doing differently, but I got my character driving the Rift orientation. So if a player turns with the mouse, the Rift will follow in addition to its regular driven Oculus inputs. So you set that value and you take the head joint and put it at the base of the neck. Oops. So right about there. That looks okay. And then the Rift camera, you'll set the offset up to be whatever it is. I think it's about that. We'll see what happens. And then for uh, the uh, skeletal stuff, you'll make a new FSM, or you may not need to make an FSM. You probably got something for this already, but you'll use the look at set animator look at, and you have to download these from the wiki. By the way, I'll put the link in the video. You're gonna say it's this character, right? This is the one with the animator on it. So we can use owner. We're going to say the target is going to be a new empty game object under the camera. You can use either camera, but I use the right because it's supposedly the dominant camera for the time being in the SDK. I'm just going to call it forward. And go back to this FSM and say that forward is the target. The weights are where you can play with all of how hard the body follows and stuff like that, and you'll just crank the head weight up to one. Okay. Every frame, and well, I think that should do it. There you go. This is basically all it takes to get it going. So there's some more stuff I'm going to have to nail down here. Obviously some offsets aren't working right. Let's see. Maybe forward. Oh yeah, yeah, that's uh, duh. Let's make sure that forward is actually forward. Believe it or not, this happens in development, so. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's, he's much more sane. Look at that. There you go. All right, we're done. That's all there is to it. So, recap. Uh, if you want your camera to follow the character, it's going to be putting the character in this slot here. You're going to put the head joint at the base of the neck, wherever that bone is. And the rift camera, you're going to say the offset between the neck and the eyeballs. Just tweak this Y value until you get to the eyeballs when you hit play, because this is done at runtime. So you'll change this value in the editor and then get it up to the eyeballs. So I guess you could tweak it at runtime and then come back and see how it looks or whatever you know if it didn't if it was too high or too low then you could sit here and change it and then paste it in but all that's going to play a role in your clipping because uh, if this orientation if it's the base of this 
this head joint is not set up at the correct point, then when the character's head pivots back, for instance, if he starts to look like straight up, then the rift will be pivoting from somewhere different than where the neck is pivoting from. And that's where you start to get some clipping issues and stuff. Also, other issues that come from that is uh, this animator uh, not being tied to the skeletal system. So you'll notice that the cameras aren't, like as he leans forward, his body leans forward, but the cameras aren't, right? Because the p cameras aren't tied to the skeletal system. So you would have to move this, this system into the skeletal system and integrate it a little bit better to get that kind of response. But that has some serious side effects too with nausea, so uh, you know, be careful with that kind of experimentation. If you if you got animations driving your 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 uh, position of your rift, then you're you're injecting some really weird stuff into the into the character and into the player's experience and their whole vestibular system as a whole. So, you know, be really aware of of what you can do as far as uh, discomfort when you start integrating this into the skeletal system. More than likely, you'll just end up with some you know, more customized animations or do some fancy clipping stuff. Or if you're doing this over a network, you'll totally instance a different, you know, uh, different character over the top and just clip this out of the, uh, you know, the, the uh, first person side that's seeing it have something totally different on each side. So, you know, just uh, things to think about, but, you know, it's super simple to do. Uh, it just takes one action and some hierarchy in here. So that's all there is to it, guys. I uh, hope you enjoy it.